Hello everyone, I am Farah. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are learning this super easy and pretty textured pattern. It's not only easy, but very fun to do as well. It's called Alpine Stitch. So let's learn how to do this together. We need a chain multiple of two. When you make your desired length of chain, make an extra chain. Insert your hook into the second chain from the hook and make a single crochet. We will be working our first row in single crochet. So that was our single crochet row. Now chain 3 and turn your work. These 3 chains count as our first double crochet. So skip this very first stitch and into the next make a double crochet. Now make a double crochet in every stitch all the way along. It's really important not to forget the last stitch. And that was our double crochet so now chain 3 turn your work and this row will make front post double crochet and a normal double crochet so this chain count as our first double crochet and into this previous rows double crochet we'll make front post double crochet so go behind this post pull a long yarn pull through these two and pull through last two that was our first front post now we'll make a normal double crochet on top of this previous double crochet now again front post and a normal double crochet on top of this previous double crochet go behind this post grab a yarn pull through these two and last two so now we are at the end of this row and that row was front post double crochet and a normal double crochet. Our last front post double crochet of this row. And normal double crochet on this last stitch. So our next row is single double crochet row. 
chain one turn your work skip excuse me uh, go into this very first stitch and make a single crochet now single crochet in each and every chain stitch and don't make these single crochets very tight make them loosely chain 3 turn your work chain, these 3 chains count as our first double crochet now you are seeing this front post double crochet we will make normal double crochet on top of this front post and front post in this normal double crochet from the previous row so we are making normal double crochet on top of our previous front post double crochets and front post on top of front post into this double crochet from the previous row Now we are at the end of this row. So now we are making our last two normal double crochets like we did beginning of this row. Now chain one, turn your work and single crochet row. Go into this very first stitch, make a single crochet and single crochet in each and every chain stitch. last single crochet chain 3 turn your work our first front post And we are making this front post double crochet into the previous 
double crochet, normal double crochet. Now on top of this previous front post double crochet, make a normal double crochet. So this is our pattern. Front post and normal. And next row, single crochet row. Now we are at the end of this row. Our last front post double crochet of this row. And a double crochet into this last stitch. single crochets and our next row front post and double crochet So we are repeating these two rows. Front post. So let me know down in the comments what kind of projects do you like to make with these stitch these timeless stitch My recommendation is finish off your project with single crochet row. It makes a nice border. Thank you so much for joining me. See you in the next video. Happy crocheting everyone.